in today I'm gonna show you one of the busiest streets in Bacolod which is the Laxon Street where you we actually hold the mascara festival in October and this is my sister-in-law Elizabeth when I'm here actually and I'm driving Laxon Street um, I'm taking this shortcut road this is a shortcut to basically anywhere towards Capital Lagoon and then the 888 and then the SM and then the, the proper Bacolod City Plaza history the background where I lived and when I started high school I was here actually that was my uniform so from elementary that was my uniform from red to maroon I used to come here for four years for high school Negros <laughs> Occidental High School that's where I played volleyball for four years and that's when I got my scholarship to be in college and I was so 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 fortunate that I got in college even if you know, my parents couldn't afford my college. So I had my scholarship in volleyball, which is like a couple of blocks away, which is called the University of Negros Occidental Recoletos. That's the same street. I'm gonna show you that in a couple of days because I'm sure I'm gonna be driving around with my brother. Bless you. <laughs> someone just, someone just needs, my brother needs. I think he couldn't take my English. <laughs> So we're gonna go, I'm gonna bring some of my family members to, for lunch actually, to, uh, what, what is it called, the viewing deck in Punta Tai Tai. It's like uh, 18 minutes uh, driving to Punta Tai Tai. This is one of the oldest malls in Bacolod. Actually, when I was living here 20 something years ago, this was this was the newest mall at that time. It's uh, Gaisano, what's that? Gaisano City. Gaisano City. The city, Gaisano City. And this used to be the old airport road, right? Yeah. The old airport road. And then a few years ago, it was moved to Silai because uh, I know there was a conflict with the tall high rise buildings that was located right here on the other side of the road because it had like a short runway. There was an accident actually that happened in Cebu Pacific. There was a crash of a Cebu Pacific Air somewhere here in this area. There's like a creek here. So, so one more place that you need to visit when you're here in Bacolod is the Maze Garden. Yes. Maze Garden is a botanical, all organic restaurant and resort actually because they, after this restaurant, just a bit down here is their yes resort. It's a garden and a resort at the same time. In the restaurants, they serve you fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, fresh seafood. Few moments later. Where are the Rojos viewing deck? I brought my dad actually to enjoy this fresh seafood that they're gonna make for us. And then also to enjoy the seaside view. There's fresh air and then fresh seafood that they're gonna make for us. My dad doesn't come here. I'm the only one who can push him to be here. Fresh air. Everyone comes here if they want fresh seafoods cooked for them and the family. And there's video, okay, of course, it's the usual Filipino scene. There would always be a room where people could sing on video, okay, karaoke.
Fairy Tale. From the place we live in, and going through the main street, which is Laksan, you basically have seen everything you need to see in Bacolod, in the proper, in the central area. But of course, we do have a lot of beaches as well. The beach side is where actually we had lunch, and because we have like an hour to go or an hour and a half to go, so we're gonna go to the 888 China Mall here in Bacolod, where you get like nice, cheap stuff. Uh, clothing, shoes, and then you can even get ukai ukai from here. You know the ukai ukai are um, used clothes already sold uh, at a really, really, really marked down prices in this area. So there are two malls. There's a proper mall in here with a homewares area. It's like a department store and a mall at the same time. And then on the other side is where you go to for ukai ukai. in Glorieta, in Trinoma, at Ayala, Ayala 13 malls. There's also a version of that in Bacolod, which is this area. You have a lot of choices of 100 pesos, 200, 250. Beautiful! And in these types of malls, you always find an area that has this specialty pool where you can get thousands of beautiful, beautiful dresses. I'm gonna ask how much this is. What kind of doll? 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 What kind of doll
Activity Center. And that's a St. John Church, not St. John Bosco. One of the, the busiest coffee shops and the most visited coffee shop in Bacolod. Can you turn? There's a lot of Koreans living in the city because they study English in here and this is where they live. That's like a Korean community. Say hi to my YouTube friends! Hi. Oh, yes. hi. They're basically my childhood friends. Hi. Yes. Hi. hi Leroy! <laughs> Who are you? You're not here. You're seeing my roots now. I grew up here. Grew up as in basically after the 12 years living in that farming area. This is Purok Magnolia. I'm gonna visit my dad early today because <laughs> I rented that condo for two days. And I told my dad I'm gonna be here early today. So here we go. The usual drama in the Philippines after. <laughs> this is the driving area. <laughs> the front of the house is the driving area. <laughs> One eternity later. I'm home. I'm home and of course when you come home to a Filipino house <laughs> I'm gonna have like a fruit salad My brother Henry again My wife Pauline and Tata 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 The Pacquiao The Pacquiao That looks like Pani Pacquiao's son <laughs> And my dad in here My dad say hi Pang Hi And of course my brother be but my bodyguard Hi Sing sa mga amiga my friend said, Ah, oh my God, you look so different <laughs> from your brother. <laughs> Is he your dad? <laughs> my dad's home. Ah. Well, basically, used to be mine. <laughs>